what's going on comic book nation jim viscardi here and we are at comic-con 2019 and we're here with two titans two in roberts. comics the not roberts. just one robert the roberts robert squared rob kirkman rob liefeld Creator of Walking Dead, creator of Deadpool. Please don't call me Robert. Um, but uh, <laughs> uh, the dead, no, I don't. The dead Roberts. I don't do interviews anymore unless I have a backup Rob to uh, help me out. Perfect. So, Nightwing, Robin, whatever. I'll be. I'll play that role today. I'll play that role. When when we were setting this up, uh -huh. the the first thing I wanted to, to ask because this is you guys have had such a, both of you like a kind of parallel career in a sense, you know. Uh, Boy genius. Boy genius. Right. Absolutely. Old man, not old man. <laughs> but like you, so, but I'm like, getting there. You both. You both. You know. Obviously. You, you know, creation of image, um, major, major hits in image. And now. also Takes over to, image, keeps image alive. Right. I'll say got to ride on image's <laughs> coattails to some massive success. So let me see. Jim, thank Jim, you very Jim, much. Jim, 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 let me just jump ahead. Uh -oh. uh, no image Here we go. without Ro Rob Liveld. No image without Robert Kirkman. Perfect. It's see? a perfect tether. There you go. But you guys have. I didn't say it. <laughs> I did. I will. I have. I shall. You guys have been able to start books in image and end big books in image. Cool. What? What is that for you guys, you know, knowing that you were able to bring stories to an end on your own terms on, with books that were completely done on your own terms? How does that feel? Well, I mean, that's, it's, it's completely unprecedented and people need to recognize that. Right. I mean, the company that Rob and these other guys built is insane. It gives you more freedom than you could ever have. The fact that Walking Dead has become this pop culture phenomenon, that it's this massive television show, there's video games, there's all these things, but yet I retained control to the point that I could end the comic book series uh, without telling anyone mm -hmm. uh, and without any kind of interference whatsoever. I, I had complete control over that. That's, that's absolutely insane. Uh, some would say that doing it was absolutely insane, <laughs> but uh, to have a company that allows you that freedom, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's crazy. How, when did you know? that you were going to do what you did with Walking Dead? Roughly five years ago. I mean, I had the idea for the ending a little bit before that, but mm -hmm. I didn't know really where it would fall. Mm -hmm. I talked about it a little bit in the letter in the back of yeah. the issue, but uh, uh, when we did the issue that came out with the uh, uh, fair on the cover and everybody was like happy and going to booths at the fair, I saw that and was like, oh shit, I'm totally closer to the end game than I thought I was. Like, <laughs> this is, uh, huh, I ain't gonna make it to issue 300. Uh, and so I had some conversations with Charlie Adlard and he was definitely, you know, after I think it was like 10, 12 years at that point, uh, was really ready to like, you know, do something else, you know? Mm. Uh, you get to get to a point where you're like, I, I work on Walking Dead every month, am I gonna be doing this for the rest <laughs> of my life? Uh, you know, you start thinking about that, but, uh, but we, you know, we had some conversations and we're like, yeah, you know, we definitely wanna end it. And, you know, it was still many, many years away, but we were able to plan and, you know, prepare ourselves for it. And I was very, very excited mm. five years ago. Cause I was like, <laughs> This is gonna be crazy. No one's gonna know what's coming. It's gonna be awesome. People are gonna be blown away. I'm gonna kill the book like I'm killing a character in the comic. It's gonna come out of left field. It's gonna be great. The last year, sweating buckets. Why did I do this? This is nuts. No one's ever done this before because it's crazy. Maybe no one should do this. Why have I done? I can't back out now. It's too late. What am I gonna do? So it's been really rough, but. <laughs> like the week before it was happening, I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm And like, when I wrote the last issue, like I, I finished the last page and I was just numb. Like I had never felt like that before in my life. I don't mean to get dark, but I was just like, I, 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 feel, like I've, I feel like I've killed a family member on accident or something. Like this is really strange. Uh, but uh, you know, then the pages start coming in and I see the book come together and I'm very happy with how it ended and the response from the fans right. has been absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I mean, I expected people to be way more angry than mm -hmm. they actually were, but people, you know, they like the way that it ended, they like that it wrapped up, they like that it, you know, what it said about the book and how it brought everything together. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, it was a big relief, mm -hmm. big relief for me. What, you, you take, you've taken a ton of risks in common. Mm -hmm. You guys, you both guys have taken a ton of risks. Uh, what, you know, with Die, 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 surprise, surprise drop to, to retailers, sure. you know, why do you think it's a thing that can only be done with a creator owned, with creator owned stuff versus like, why aren't Marvel and DC doing it? I mean, you, you've seen people try and it just, it doesn't happen. Obviously, you know. I mean, do we talk about corporate overlords, like making comics <laughs> harder these days? Like, is that? Um, you know, it, well, well, they, like, can we discuss that? Your your video though came full comes full circle. I okay. feel with the end of you know with the end of Walking Dead, where you know the the video you shot 
um, you know, a couple years ago where you said, yeah. you know, do your own books. Ten years ago. <laughs> Ten We're years all ago. very old. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's you have a, a, a freedom to do these things. And, uh, you know, one of the base, best things about Image, when mm -hmm. Eric Stevenson and I, the publisher, are talking to people, we will say, uh, Image gives you uh, the freedom to fail. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Eric and the staff at Image are there to talk to creators when creators have marketing ideas or, you know, directions for their stories or things like that. And it's a company that will say, in our experience, the market doesn't like this. Mm -hmm. In our experience, this isn't going to work. In our experience, you should do something different. But that's always given with the caveat of, but you control your project mm -hmm. and you can do whatever you want. So we think that that might be a mistake and we feel like it's our job to let you know this, but you are free to do that if that's what you want to do. And there have been many times where, I mean, the best example I think is uh, Saga Number 1 by mm -hmm. Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. Brian's like, I'm going to do a 50-page first issue and we're going to sell it for two ninety nine. dollars And I'm like, why would you do that? Split it into two issues. Mm -hmm. Just do uh, issue one and issue two and, and make the extra money. Like, why would you give that money away? It's not going to, you know, and then it comes out and it's this massive success. And then I'm like, so my new book, Outcast, is going to launch with a 50 page first issue that I'm going to sell for two ninety nine. dollars <laughs> And I totally call Brian up and I'm like, I'm glad you didn't listen to us. This was a great mm -hmm. idea. We're totally doing this now. And it's a community of people that are constantly pushing the boundaries and coming up with new ways to excite mm -hmm. people and, you know, do different things and you know we get to use those ideas and that's cool and sometimes we do things that don't work and no one talks about them and I forget them. <laughs> Rob you're in a position where you are still adding toys uh, to a toy box that is still feels all life held all the time. That's got to be a lot of fun for you. It absolutely is. Right? Look I love comics man mm -hmm. this is this is uh, we're here at comic-con and I just get excited. I texted my family yesterday. They're all on the way down. I said, I got your rooms ready. I'm so excited you guys are going to come down and share this passion with me. They kind of turned me back on 15 years ago. My kids love, like, I've said this before. We'll go to Italy. We'll go to London. We'll go to Maui. And at the end of the fall, at, the, at fall, when they all go back to school, I'll go, what was your favorite period this whole summer? Comic-Con. And I'm like, why are we going to these other places? Let's just focus on San Diego. Um, look, comics are great. Comics is what my career is completely rooted and based in mm -hmm. and I walk around and like so Robert and I can go walk 10 aisles and I'm not sure there's a booth that doesn't have Walking Dead on the left or Deadpool on the right mm -hmm. and you go we help build this community we help you know uh, I mean I, I got a Deadpool Jack in the Box last night I'm like what is this <laughs> I got a ja ja Jack in the Box I got a plastic and I saw mask. it and was like no, I got to do Walking I mean, Dead Jack in the Box no, what is wrong with I, me and honestly I'd heard about Jack in the Box didn't know it was going to be that awesome and all day long in my room <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome okay but yeah no and it's like hey there's this new cable figure over at this booth mm -hmm. and let's come over here we have a variant of this cable figure over here and the, the, the sideshow people are like, would you like to see our 12 new Deadpool and Cable statues? <laughs> so yeah, no, it's, look man, it's fantastic and, and, and it's what I, I, I go back to, uh, back in 1989 when those deals were still be given out, mm -hmm. been given out, the, you can get a percentage of this character and if you plant this tree, you can have a piece of it. And uh, I, I'm, I'm so thankful, I, like I've, I've, I wish I could go back and high five my younger self because <laughs> while he was a bit of an ass, he did some great stuff. Like, good stuff, young Rob. Good stuff. Way to take care of the family. Mm -hmm. More creators should be bigger asses these days. <laughs> but, um, they, they would make the internet so much more I, can, can, can I also just interject here? I want to sure. answer one of your questions that you asked Robert because he's too humble to do it. Die, 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 all these other things. Look, man, Image I'm Comics. I'm not humble at all. I, you're being a little humble. There's, there's, so the Image Comics, the partners, we get together, we start the, the company, the founders, and uh, we, we launch it, and it's great, and it, it, it means all these great things, and it accomplishes all these great things. And one of the things, like you said, is, because when I was a kid, there was a period of one of my favorite books, for it had had like a five-year kick-ass period of great art, great stories, and then it went into a five-year ditch. It was like, this book is awful, why do I still buy it? This book is awful, and at Image, we have the choice of, no, you're not going to get that five-year ditch. We're going to end here, turn it off, no more profit for a while. When we have fresh profit, we will give you fresh profit. You will not get in the ditch, <laughs> scrambling to get out of the ditch profit, because that would be bad for everybody. But the reason Robert can drop Die, Die, Die and end Walking Dead is he is the child of image. We, you want your kids, my oldest son is taller than me, way better looking, way smarter, like has a GPA that's insane. 
Robert is the son of Image Comics. He's taller, better looking, smarter, and he's comics. <laughs> Wait for it. He's comics first and only mogul. 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 I go, I, I, And I'll now you know why no, Rob no, is here no, at the no, interview. No, this is no, great. No, no, no. Here's the thing. Jim, you go to his house, and he's like, here, let me show I'll you 200 pages talk about of something I can't talk about. Here's 200 pages of my next project. No one in this business can, can do 200 pages in advance, mm -hmm. much less... 400 pages in advance. Yeah. Um, I'm not doing it. Um, <laughs> when you said big risk, he took big risk to a next level. Yeah. I mean, the absolute, ne and it is a delight. Mm -hmm. I, I tell you, if, if there was no Robert Kirkman comics, would be boring, <laughs> boring. And he did Mr. Sweaty Boy. Oh, I'm in the book and did what I do, worst decision. Shut up, stand up straight, <laughs> stand behind your decision. This is great. He did have a little bit of the willy nillies there in the last like For sure. 10 days. Like I'm like, dude. I didn't change my mind though. No, 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 but he was like, he was, it was not characteristic, Robert. And 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 then, like you said, it's the hottest thing. And who knew ending a comic? Biggest thing ever. Right? It's over! <laughs> and I'm gonna, five years ago, he, he has always said it, it ends with Carl. That I will verify. Brother knew how it was ending all the time. Didn't change it. And, uh, you know, I, I love it. There's, there's a retailer I run into, and he's like, I knew Robert was ending the book when Rick got shot. I'm like, you're lying through your face, but if it makes you feel better to broadcast to your um, base, right. your, your fans, that you're so smart, you figured it out. Dude, it's, it's, it's electric. It's just electric. You've been able to have, you know, with Walking Dead, you've been able to have a ton of fun. And obviously with the, the growth and the phenomenon yeah. of the TV show, um, I, it, it's, been, it's become a thing where you said, just like Deadpool, where like, you can't go anywhere without mm -hmm. someone knowing about it um, or, or interacting with it in, in one way. Or the other. I hear people in restaurants sometimes talking about it behind me, and they have no idea who I am. That's the best. <laughs> They'll be like, "I don't really watch it anymore. I don't like it." And I'm like, "Ah, it's really cool." <laughs> you you've been able to have a little bit of fun on the on the movie front with two giant, Huge. massive we made Deadpool the jump. movies, yep. right? Are you uh, excited to to go into that with you know? I mean, obviously AMC's got some of the the Rick stuff that yeah. they've been talking about. Is oh, that absolutely? Is that yeah. something that just you know? You get, you get excited for it? Yeah, very excited. I mean, it'll be, uh, I mean, I, I can't say much. Let me right. think about what I can say. But, uh, you know, like phrasing, or framing the story in a little different way mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, telling the narrative in a more <laughs> succinct, uh, uh, more spectacle, mm -hmm. uh, possibly kind of, I'm already saying too much. Right. But it's Perfect. Gonna be great. You should hear. There, it's it's great. great. You'd flip out. You can't, so, I can't wait to see Rick Graham's fighting ninjas. It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> Excellent. I ask Rob this question uh, basically any time we do an official interview. Image United. Mm-hmm. Is there ever a shot? I, t I told you to tell them not to ask me. <laughs> I, I will go. Look, I, I'm kicking ass at 51. I feel like I'm in a zone. And if I have to carry all these guys and finish this book, I'll do it. I'll it. do it. Are we going to see I'll it? I'll do it. I've got, I've got so many pages, I can hold the whole project hostage. Yeah. Except I, I do not have all of them. There are other scattered. Who has other pages? Just let's let. Who has the name of the story? Well, I, 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 I look, I ask Todd uh, all the time. I know I Todd's know, got, know he's got some. I know Larson. You know, Larson Larson's got some. Yeah. I'm uh, not finishing it. Is it? <laughs> well, I won't make that joke. Oh, that's dangerous. I don't, I, 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 that's a rare ah. time that I pull back on a joke. <laughs> Woo! Okay. It's, it was crazy. Uh -huh. I feel like it was Eric Larson that suggested it in the first place. Everybody gets together, was. draws jam pages. Mm -hmm. You know, we do a story together. It's, you know, six guys that have very busy lives, right. uh, are, right. you know, networking and getting pages together and drawing different pieces. It's an absolutely insane project. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I wish we had made it to the finish line. Mm -hmm. We didn't. Uh, Yet. But, yeah, it's, yeah. I wouldn't rule it out entirely okay. for the future. But, uh, but yeah. It's There's just, a Top it's Gun a, sequel coming out. There's right. a Top Gun. Who I saw it's it in possible. 1986. <laughs> 34 years later, they made a sequel. Image United isn't over. It's not over. <laughs> I'm not dead. I'm not dead, okay? <laughs> like, I'm here, I can draw, I can move a pencil. Here's the deal. We need to tell people, Image Perfect. United was all of us drawn. It was insane. Eric Larson yeah. did come in. We had done a comic book store signing in Arizona that was bonkers crazy for the 15th anniversary or something. I mean, people stood in the 102 degree heat mm -hmm. outside. Atomic Comics, uh, it was an insane signing. And it was there, like the next day, before we all got on the plane, Larson proposed this. We all drew a story that Robert wrote where I draw all my characters, Todd draws all his, Eric, everyone draws their own characters and they interact on the page. It is an insane, mm -hmm. insane. I, I did the layouts for the first issue, sent them out. It is such a pleasure to see them come back. Eric Larson carried it from there. Here's the deal, when I got the pages the other day and I was scribbling a little on them and do I, I went out to the garage to get Image United. I thought there was only two issues. We did three, <laughs> we did three. Like there's yeah. 60 plus pages of us doing this insane project where I'm gonna mail a page to you, you draw on it, you mail it to him. That, 
repeat six times. Mm-hmm. Repeat, rinse and repeat. It yeah. is an insane project. You know what? The reason to finish it in 10 years is to have the collected edition. I'm all mm-hmm. about the collected editions now. Mm-hmm. Robert Kirkman's life is built on collected editions. It's true. Can, yeah, I mean, honestly, you can make furniture out of all of them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, and Barnes, I do. And, Barnes and Noble, <laughs> Ikea, make your own Walking Dead furniture. <laughs> <laughs> I got a chair. Um, so, so, I mean, honestly, it, it, people should just give it a... I, I love that you brought up Image United. You're the best. I I'll talk it. about it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, and Robert's like, are we talking about it? <laughs> all right, I'm going to ask you guys one more question. And I'll 2022. Let you, I, appreciate I have pages it. in my hotel. Thank you. I have Image United pages in my hotel room. I should run up and get them. But anyway, go ahead. <laughs> one last question for you guys. You guys have seen comics change an immense amount over, over your career. It's a completely different right. industry from when you started. Yeah. It's a completely different industry uh, from when you started and now. What do you think the next five or ten years of comics looks like? Rob, you go first. <laughs> I will. So I asked dude on my right this question a while back. And Did I have a good answer? Because Well, you said one every, you said, look, comic book in, so in media is going to become like comic we, books we're in, in. We're in public. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's, I think it, you can see it happening. Right. It, where it's going is everyone's jumping on the bandwagon and there's going to be 100 superhero projects on, I mean, it's already 30, right? Oh, yeah, there's going to be. Uh, and, and, and you're going to fight it out the way they're fighting it out on the stands now. Mm-hmm. And... The, the cream is going to rise to the top, mm-hmm. and uh, it, it, it's, it's going to be a challenge to entertain. I, I, have t- I, th- I have three teenagers. Robert has young kids. They really reveal to me what's coming, the future. Uh, I mean, I think we're at a crossroads right now. I think we're at the end. We are, we're not in the beginning of the streaming. Mm-hmm. We're, we're in the streaming. My kids yeah. don't want to go to theaters. Mm-hmm. They want to scroll and watch on these elaborate devices we've supplied them until they have to pay for them themselves. That, <laughs> that's the question. In five years, does generation whatever crash because mom and dad won't pay for their shit anymore? But uh, the thing is, there's just so much that's been, you know, making the jump. Like I said, today it's all about can you make the jump to multimedia? Mm-hmm. Very, what, I mean, is Saga the last big book that doesn't have media yeah. like supporting it? Mm-hmm. it? It feels like it. Yep. Um, but everything, it's about that race. And uh, I gotta be honest, man. They don't ever make another Deadpool. I'm good. I got I got everything I need out of those two movies. <laughs> so they gonna make a three? You better make it good. Are they gonna make a three? Uh, of course they're making a three. <laughs> eight hundred million and eight hundred million make one point six billion. Okay. Uh, Did you just that's announce more than Deadpool Strange. three today? That's more. That's more than no, no. I know that there's an accountant at Disney that goes, hey, the Deadpool franchise is more profitable than all these these ten other franchises. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I, come on. I will tell you, they're gonna make a three. Right. Now, what year? I don't know. <laughs> but it's gonna like this is for someone. Okay, so it could let's, be like let's, thirty-five let's years. What if like I say Top Gun. no? How stupid would I be right now to say, well, Jim, no, they're never making one. Does, which sounds more insane? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they're not. Yes, they are. I am making a Ryan Reynolds Android <laughs> that will never age and can make movies for the next. 13 years. Sorry, Ryan. Breaking that to you right now. <laughs> Invested in technology of duplicate people. And uh, we, we can just make Deadpool movies in my backyard, man. But uh, <laughs> let me go back to you. If they never make another one, I'm good. Uh-huh. Rick Grimes, I'm working on him too. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Andrew Lincoln. Sorry, sorry, Andrew. <laughs> I called you Rick. Great. We can do more than three movies. There you go. <laughs> never age. Uh-huh. I think the age app has screwed everybody up. But like, mm-hmm. honestly, Josh Brolin. Uh, sorry, Josh. I love, I love him. He's like, I love how I look in this picture. <laughs> he sent it back to me. And he's like, I love how I look when I aged him. So I'm like, this guy is on board. Like, we, some of these, the age app is doing wonders, man. <laughs> it's showing people how they're going to look. And, and in some places, if your character is, right. in some instances, very old, it's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. I have completely derailed this interview. It's totally Get fine. It back on that, track. Is a, that is a perfect Get place to Josh Brolin can play cable forever. <laughs> there it is. Guys, Comics are going to be great. It's going to be fun. I'm here for the kid. Okay. Thank you guys for stopping by. No, this interview's not over yet. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one more. Come on, one more question. Well, no, so, I, 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 who do you guys think now, you know, is there anyone who can do another, like, walking there, right? Like, that's the question that a lot of fans mm. are asking. That's, yeah, what, that's what the dummy. industry is asking. But at the same time, it, like, you can't just do it, right? But is, I would imagine there's a type of person, though, that's got to have, you know, a the right driver characteristics Pisker, to, to do it. Jim Rugg, those Detroit boys, mm-hmm. they are on fire and they love Image and they are completely, completely. I mean, the dude did the history of rap and got like a, a TV deal out of it. Like, I mean, Ed Piscor is one of those guys when you ask somebody who I see who I go, I'll be following him for the next decade mm-hmm. or longer. Like, there's not a lot of them. Um, 10 years ago, I told you it was the Atomic Robo guy. Like, but Ed Piscor is now my guy. Because there are occasionally guys you go, um, that, that guy, and his crew, they're, they're like a posse. They remind me of like 
the image guys. They hang out, they talk all the time. Um, we had a tribe. We had a tribe. Mm-hmm. Like we were definitely, and and I don't I don't I don't see as many tribes. I don't mm-hmm. that aren't interested in doing Batman all the time. <laughs> I said it. I, that's it. I mean, you need you need more creators that are more invested in doing their own ideas and mm-hmm. less invested in you know working on corporate comic book uh, characters uh, for decades and decades. Uh, anybody that is passionate about their own creator owned idea and is willing to put as much effort, if not more, into that than mm-hmm. they are their books at Marvel and DC has the potential to have something as big as The Walking Dead. I mean, it's just that simple. Mm-hmm. Uh, the infrastructure, uh, you know, is still there. You know, Image Comics is not going anywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, so anybody that, you know, is looking at me going, oh, geez, you know, I wish I had a Walking Dead. Well, you know, get off your ass and work on it. You know, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's really easy. You know, it's not guaranteed, right. but, you know, give it a shot. Is there a character from The Walking Dead that you were going to miss the most in writing? Yeah, I mean, uh, to a certain extent, all of them. But uh, you know, I mean, you know, there's you know, Negan. Negan's not dead. You know, he's still <laughs> out there. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I mean, I I, I, I you know, I, I, you know, right in that last issue, there was definitely uh, I won't spoil things specifically, but mm-hmm. you know, there's things in the back of my mind where I'm like, oh, I wonder what Carl does next. I wonder what's going on. Mm-hmm. But uh, I just you know, it's not not. You know, not right to continue the story from that point because that's the that's definitive end. But I'm gonna miss all those characters. I mean, it's I'm, it's still very raw for me because it's all so new. But uh, but yeah, it hasn't been that many months that I haven't been writing issues, so it's it's mm-hmm. still kind of sinking in. Right. Thank you for Walking Dead, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. No, I'm <laughs> serious. You're welcome. My, uh, he knows my son became the biggest Walking Dead fan of all space and time. His room, I, like he has sketch covers of people drawing him as zombies. Like he invested, he became the Walking Dead prototypical Mm -hmm. fanboy. And I was like, "Uh, this is so weird because Robert's one of my best buddies and you're obsessed with Walking Dead, this is weird. (laughs) Um, But yeah, dude. You, you kicked ass. You and literally, my son, you kicked ass. Yeah, I know. But my son is uh, uh, a huge Deadpool fan, and the first Deadpool true. movie comes out, and I'm like, yeah, you can't watch that. Because <laughs> he's, he's 13 now. Okay. And so I tell him, yeah, you know, when the second movie comes out, I'll let you watch the first movie, and you'll be fine. But they rush the second movie out. <laughs> and so I have to take my son to see these R-rated movies when he's like 12. You promised, Dad. You promised. But absolutely No one's such a good them. kid. What a good yeah, kid. Great. He loves his foul mouth Deadpool. Good, good man. Well, so, so so what's next for you guys? Obviously, you you know had a, a bunch of success with Major X. Uh, you still have a bunch of you know books and work, but is there is there new stuff that you guys yes. have uh, tons? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I'm Rod Liefeld on uh, got another got uh, another uh, image uh, book the in the works. Liefeld verse is coming. Get ready. I'm I'm bringing it out this Ooh. time next year. This time next year. I I like I did Major X. That was a muscle I needed to kind of work out and uh, kind of prove something with it, and uh, it it connected. And then this G.I. Joe Snake Eyes mm-hmm. thing I'm doing is, is a bucket list. I'm sorry, my first toy I was obsessed with was G.I. Joe. Nice. Uh, Kung Fu Grip, Eagle Eye, the longtime fans will know what I'm talking about, way before they became this phenomenon. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I'm like, like I, I, I'm telling you, Jim, I feel like at 51 I'm still vibrant and young, and I may be kidding myself, but I feel that way, and if you feel that way, keep doing it. And I'm like, maybe I'll run out of gas in, in five years, six years, but I'm just trying to pick it all off while I feel like I got the energy. And so, but no, the next thing is to do a new, brand new line of creator-owned stuff that I've been working on for years. Like three pages of this, five pages of this, six pages of this. And it's like, it's time to take them out, finish them, put them together, boom. And I'm sure he's got 10 things. I actually, I've seen all the stuff he's got coming. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm definitely not working on less comics now that The Walking Dead has ended. I, I, I will continue putting out new books. Excellent. We get another uh, Kirkman Liefeld jam uh, coming mm-hmm. up soon? Hopefully. Uh, eventually. 100%. <laughs> I just want to hang out with him more. <laughs> Have us back next year. Perfect. Absolutely. Done.